in the broad picture of life, imperfectly perfect is what we are. Behind every heart is a canvas that's been filled with trial and error. We all see good, we've all seen bad. But everything starts with our own palate. So with our palette, we can create anything we want to create. Any dream that we can create is a dream that can happen. And so we sit here in the rawness of life and we create in our mind dreams of flying and of rockets and of clouds and of marriage and of togetherness and love. And we have to plant ourselves, we have to plant ourselves, we have to accept the flower that we are, and we have to bloom. We have to plant good decisions, but with decisions we can take two different paths. We have a path of darkness, and we also have a path of life and truth. Behind every path of darkness is a bright light trying to pull them out of the pits. Behind every path of truth is each person's own devastation of sin past and present. Sometimes we make crooked decisions. So I put the crooked heart right here because sometimes we misconstrue what love is. Love is peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Which brings us to our first life path. Selfishness. Which leads to the serpent we end up into a pit in a triangle of, of dullness, of fear and of death, of heartbreak, of lies and of anger. Though we're exotic and fun and loud and serving, we end up being dull because we're not finished. Our hearts are not finished. So these three tie in together because they're not finished. They are dull, D-U-L-L, -L, dull. Which brings us to the pit that we've all been a part of, that we've all felt. The pit of no return, of hate, of sorrow, of sadness, of insecurities, of anxiety, of uncertainty and unacceptance. We've all been there. But I'm here to tell you that God wants to pull you out of that pit. And he wants to give you light and he wants to give you a story. But that's the only reason that you've been called to be where you are. Because you're supposed to shine with a big heart with multiple faces affecting multiple different people with the scars and the crooked decisions that you've overcome. When we find light, we outshine death. So when you outshine death, you're stitched over it. Your wounds are healed and you're stitched over the top of all the wrongdoings. And your heart shines bigger and brighter than everybody around you with scars that are filled, with cracks that have been creased up. And when we find out who we truly are and we accept Christ for what He is, and we accept our sins and our past for what it is, we can restart. We can start over. And we start our path of life right here and we realize that faith, love, and hope are three things that will last. But love is the most important of them all. When we start our journey, it's very important to realize how important understanding of truth is. It's important to come together as a group of three or more. It's important to come together to talk about truth, the craziness and the splatter of what life really is. It's important to figure out the yin and yang and understand that there is a balance of light and dark. That we all mess up, that we all have our good times, that we all have our bad times. It's important to keep going through the clouds and keep climbing up that ladder. And when we find the single heart, the single truth, it's important to hang on. And when we hang on, we realize that those who plant in tears will harvest with shouts of joy. Once we accept the realization of truth for what it is, we can take a step back from the picture frame of life and love 
and realize that we are all intertwined together. It doesn't matter your color, shape, size, race, gender, background, ethnicity. We are all one. We are all supposed to come together as individuals to create one whole heart. So this piece right here is imperfectly perfect, just like me. I am perfectly perfect. Boom.